Hi everybody. I wanted to do an update because I'm still I'm excited. A bad note, I didn't get seen by okay. I didn't make the top selects. But am I gonna let that sour my whole day? No. I'm surprised too because I didn't sleep at all last night. Well, four or five hours, but anyway. Yeah, I'm not gonna let it tarnish everything because you know, it's just one thing and life goes on. And there'll always be, the thing I realized and I started understanding about the industry, because back in the days before I understood what the heck, you know, that I'm thinking about, I would put so much heart into one stuff. And yeah, I get it when you really want something and you're really looking forward to it. But what I learned about is that I, I get upset for that moment I get all my anger out, and I get all pissed off, and then I just move on from that part, you know, and that, like, what I had is the, my ideal thing, and I find a new thing that I like, and then I put my heart in there, because with the industry, the good thing about the industry, yes, there's always going to be a million people trying, and you're never going to always succeed, but there's a million opportunities, too, and in California, Oh my gosh. Like, I watch all the different, like, I'm on Casting Networks and um, allcasting.com. And they bring in stuff and things. They Mostly they're focused on the, like, New York area because that's where I'm at. Like, I'm more in this part of the country. But when I move to California, I'll start getting ones from there. And if it's anything like New York... Wow, I'm gonna have so many opportunities, and you also have an agent. I have an agent and um, a manager and everything, and so yeah, I've been really trying my best to be a good girl, but sadly today I I messed up. I relapsed. I had M and M's, and I had some um, I had a half of my cosmic brownie. Some M and M's and um, the ice cream, a little ice cream cookie thing with M and M's in there too. Yeah, you can tell where my mind was. But I did not eat the whole bag. I did not eat the whole bag. I shared with Isaac, so he had half of it too. So yeah, that's my difference. But yeah, I am an addict of chocolate. Like I won't ever somehow something about it just makes you feel good you know and it does something chemically to your brain oh and that he showed you his mop he wanted to share his mop because he got it cut today by a really nice gentleman fellow veteran named kenny from dan's barber shop in big rapids michigan yeah he likes vets. going there you so. want to get a good haircut fellow vets dan's barber shop talk to kenny <laughs> big rapids michigan and i'm getting my eyebrows done tomorrow and my nails which need it because I messed with that fake nail stuff, which, by the way, the I did not like it. I was doing the press-on nails for one of my TikToks, like I did the little nail thing. And those things hurt when they come off. And they took some of my little nail stuff on it. And I've been te doing so well with my nails, people, with little serums and stuff. But that was so messed up. And... It acted like, you know, people did reviews saying it was, they were great and everything, and they came off easily for them. I don't know how, because I had to sit there and literally get my teeth and my nails and bite it off. <laughs> That's how I got it off, because they gave you a tool, but it hurt when I would use it. So I just like, you know what, fuck it. I bit it off, so. But those were, no. Nah, I don't really like nail things on my nails. Like, it hurts, so. I guess Pass. I'm just a natural type. I don't like that type of thing. Pass. But this is my like go-to from now on. I think I'll use this for the rest of my life. Because I do not sleep well. Like, if you all know me, you know. Yeah, and Isaac's probably going to do the break the morning one because I don't do well with that. And I have something else I'm going to show you anyway that I'm going to be doing. But the night really helps me to soothe down it helps me to start calming down and sleep and it has a lot of good stuff for your hair and your skin and just natural things that really help people to sleep deeper 
like a deep sleep and that's what I really need and even when you wake up from it's still helpful and I think like when I get anxiety that's a little different so I still stayed awake today but I was anxious because I was having my appointment with Dr. McField at 12.45 I wanted to make sure we got there so I think that anxiety was keeping me awake because I needed the meds that he's going to give me so that I can lose weight before my head shots, people. I gained back up to 130. I'm so embarrassed. Like, that's so horrible. But I am also on my period, so I'll probably lose at least 3, 4 pounds. So I'm probably more closer to 125. But I don't ever, like, I hate having that way because you never know if it's real or if it's, like, not. You know, it's in your head or something. Because then it goes back away, and then you're back to normal, and you feel normal again. It's all hormonal, you know, and I hate that because I was so good. Before today, I was, a, like, I went a couple weeks, at least two, three weeks with no chocolate at all. Two weeks. And, okay, whatever. Well, I was still good, you know, and I watched my diet. I was, I still did some exercise. And I thought I had done good, but I felt like I was, you know, I can still fit in my size 2 jeans from Express, so, which are right here, by the way. Yeah, I fit in these. See, people? 2R. Boom, regular, baby. Two regulars. Two regulars. And the only other smaller one is double zero. That's the only one under this, so... I get the 2R. I could probably tightly fit in the double O, but I'd rather it look good on me, like so. really tight on the one O. No, it's, the the next one is double O. They don't double have o. a one O. They don't do that. That's not how they are. They don't, as I looked in their, all their jean selections, that's not what they do. Huh. And the reason I like this is because look at how cute it is, people. Look at the cute little button. It's so cute. Like, these are so cute. Yeah, and the awesome. jeans are fashionable. And then I got my jacket, of course. Jeans are fashionable. And I'm getting two leggings, two pair of leggings for the price of one. Yeah, I did good this this month. Pretty good. Oh, and the jeans were free until the end of the month, of course, when we have to pay our bill. But I got an ex Isaac qualified for the Express credit card. We have a limit of like a thousand bucks. It's like, oh my gosh. Which really surprised me because like, I thought my credit, credit His credit's gone up, so... We're so happy about that. But yeah, I'm going to be doing the Cerevital every night. I take them after I wait two hours, and then I take them. And then I wait two hours if I want to have a snack, or I just go to bed. So, I'm also going to be doing, starting probably tonight, because I want my teeth to be whiter. I already do the Crest 3D Whitening Toothpaste, the mouthwash. And... I'm going to be starting these strips. And there's 20 of them in here. 20 pairs. That's whitening strips. People yeah, these are... Them. Yeah. You, they know. Uh, honey, but it's like... This is better. the professional effects. It's their, be their best one. And, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get my teeth as white as they can be. I'm getting skin care from Paula's Choice and 123 Skin. I got a couple different things coming, so I'm really excited for that. Something for helping with my acne and keep it at bay. And then something for just, like, cleansers. Um, something for my lips. And a mask, a facial mask, so that I can clarify my skin and everything. I'm going to, like I said, I'm doing my eyebrows, my nails. And then when I get to New York, the day of my headshots, I'm going to go to this one salon and I'm going to get it pinned straight. And then they're probably going to curl it when I'm at this the headshot place like they did last time because my manager really liked that um the look of the curls and so they're probably going to make those big curls but at least I'll have it pinned straight for some of the shots so yeah I'm going to wear that and then whatever top they want I don't know what they'll want and I got my sneakers oh. and I'll probably wear my black pumps for if oh. they want like a nicer type shoe but yeah, um, this is the other thing I got today. Um, this is what I came healthy with. Healthy snacks for the trip. Yeah, we're going to eat healthy. Nature's Valley. <laughs> They're um, the nut kind. 
They got peanut and almond. Isaac likes nuts. I don't as much like nuts. But well, of course, I like nuts. I am a nuts. Least <laughs> but yeah, um, these are, this is, of course, my hydrochlorothiazide that my doctor prescribed that I always take anyway. And then this is my new one. It's called Fentramine. And my doctor told me, because of my sensitivity, I told him I only do one of the fen fendramatrazines because I cannot do two else I won't sleep at night, and it affects me really a lot. So he said, because I'm sensitive, I should start with a half a, of one of these. That's what it looks like. And um, if it makes me feel dizzy or, like, you know, Offset. my heart races or something. Yeah. <clears throat> and it says, may make you dizzy. Check with your doctor before drinking alcohol. Use care when operating a vehicle, vessel, or other machine. Do not take other medicines without checking with your doctor or pharmacist. So yeah, this is only 37.5 milligrams of fentramine. I'm going to be starting tomorrow. I'll let you know if I really feel weird, like how it makes me feel for half a cap tablet. They said start low, and if you can stand it, then take another half maybe later on Lunch in the time. day. Lunch and if you day, can, yeah, if you can handle that, then you can start going up from there. So, you can, you know, take the normal dose at the regular time, but I'm scared because I've w watched reviews on this, and some people said that they didn't really feel good, so. I always don't, I always get the weird side effects, like, that's just how my body is. It doesn't like change, and that's just how I am. So, that's our thing, and we go on our trip. In like less than a week, we start driving. We start on Sunday night, I think, is when we start. And we sleep over Sunday night. We sleep over another place Monday night. And then I get up on Tuesday, and that's my headshot day. And we're probably just going to drive all the way straight home. Isaac said he can drive home. So we're probably just going to do it that way. And yeah. But we have what one of the hotels is that same hotel we did when I went and did my demo reel. It Cambridge. is so nice. Cambridge, um, yeah, it is. That she is Cambria. Yeah. Cambria, yeah. yeah. It's called Cambria, and it's downtown New York, like right by Manhattan and all that. And people, if you do, it is hotels, so beautiful. Use your rocket pumps, gas pumps. They will give you. Those. It doesn't have a tub, but it does have um yeah, shower. Nice shower. And this time I don't have to worry about my hair because they're just going to do it anyway. So I have to call and set that up tomorrow. So, yeah. That's why I'm sometimes not really doing a lot as much right now because I'm going to be doing that. And I might go to Express one more time and get a couple of things. I might get, I wonder if they sell shoes. If they sell shoes, I might get some shoes there. And Isaac can get a couple things because he hasn't had a really nice wardrobe change in a while. But we can pay it at you know at the end when we pay our bill. But yeah, I'm so excited! Like it's been a while since we've been somewhere, so I have one more um of these body wraps too. He's gonna do one, and then I would I'm gonna do one. So we use these two. They're from It Works. Oh, no, we have three. I might do two then. How many we got? Three. Which means I can do two and you can do one. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, but I have to really flatten my stomach, so. It, it's, it needs some work. But I want to, like, I also use body suit, and I use a bra, body suit bra that I use, too, that I have. So it helps me to like stay firmer looking. So it really does work. And that's I you know, I recommend that to everybody that wants to like get in shape looking. If you you know, if you if you need a little extra help, then it'll help. And we've been watching this at the series. <laughs> so I'm so happy that I'm not that overweight, like like, I'm skinny compared to a lot of people. I mean, we're skinny compared to every one of those individuals. But it's like, they are, it's the 600, my 600, my 600 pound, pound life. life. 
and oh my gosh, it's like you really have to feel for those people. That it's it's sad though, you know. It is sad thinking about it and how they got there, cause they even say like, I don't even know how I got here some and all that. Know, some and of it. Some, some of them, them you know, they yeah. Some of them have traumatic childhoods, which I'm like, well, I did too. I didn't become a weight of like five, six hundred pounds. Not people use food as comfort. I know, and you know, I but I was teased a lot, so. Matter of fact, one of them was. I guess about that's one why. Was teased a lot. But, I mean, she had a lot similar to me, but, yeah, I didn't go the way she did. It's like, I don't think I ever could get that heavy because when I was 163, it was when my my wedding, and it was the worst times of my life. I just kind of, like, zoned out most of the time. I was on heavy antipsychotic meds, too, around that time. And I and, and I... Antipsychotics and antidepressants. They had me on everything, honey. What? Yeah. They should have gave me the They had me on everything. I was in Pine Rest. Oh, yeah. They put me on like is. three different freaking things and they were all heavy as heck and I would not could not even keep my eyes open most all the time. Like I I was so zoned out that whole my whole time life around that time and I'm like I look back at this stuff and I'm like, Where was I? I was not even there in my mind. Like, my wedding, it was not the timing to do that. I think we had bad timing. We're going to probably eventually <laughs> renew our vows, though, because now your girl looks hot as hell. And I'll look amazing in a freaking wedding dress now. So now yeah. I'm going to strut my stuff. Like, that wasn't me. That was just some pastor. I was like, an, well, not my alter ego. My alter ego would be hot as fuck, too. She, she's not going to be some overweight whale. But you know, when I was down that way, I wanted to get the gastric bypass like these people do. Because, you know, everybody thinks that's the only thing, which, Not you know, that. that's part of the problem. but it doesn't cure it. Like he, the doctor that helps them even says it's not going to like be a magic cure. Okay. You have to actually still not eat because it won't take away your urges. You'll still want to eat, but your stomach won't handle it. So it'll be like a, it's a mind thing, basically. I mean, it is, and he even said it's an eating disorder, and people don't see overeating as an eating disorder, even though anorexia they see as an eating disorder, which is like, okay, there is such a thing as overeating, too. That's an eating disorder. It means you basically put all your yeah, emotion into food, and that's how you comfort yourself. Yep. Now, when I'm really, like, dead tired to the world, I will do that. I'll put my food, like, I'll use my food to, like, make me somewhat get through the day. But, I mean, other than that, I guess the only other things I do when I do eat is, like, my sweets. Like, because they help me to feel better. But, I mean, I don't think I overdo it, like, excess. I mean, at one point I was when I was definitely overeating that chocolate. But stopping eating chocolate really helped me to kind of take a step back from that and realize that I did do it and so that's why it was okay sharing with Isaac and I didn't even eat my whole cosmic they had like a two pack on the cosmic brownie thing and I didn't I stopped before I got to the other amount because it made me realize you know if you keep doing it you're gonna be like that and it's not far for people that are regular to get to that level like, we all look at people like that and we think we'll never get there. But they probably did the same thing and they did get there. So, child. you know, you can learn from what they have been through and then you won't have to worry about it. And I am that type where I would, I don't ever want to be overweight like that again. Because when I was in fifth grade, I was. And I was so badly teased and harassed. I think I did kind of the same thing as what the other woman did. Basically, I um, I was touched when I was eight years old, and I you know a lot of Our different times, member. and and it really affected me, Did and I think part of me, and also in my yeah, well, I had been pimped out and everything, and in right. school I was I was I had a different guys there that other fellow students 
like would hit on me all the time and I think it's sometimes that really got to me because like as a third grader you should not be saying I had the hots for you to another kid but I think this one kid thought that because I think that he saw his, his brother was probably that type that said things like that and he might have picked it up from it's him really but I was brother. like he would always follow me in line and want to stand by me and I don't know, I just, in second and third grade, I had a lot of odd, like, I had a lot of males' intention, and I think that's why, like, it started me in that, that way, to not want that. I was extremely thin in third grade, and in, in second grade, I was, like, stiff. I was hard, I didn't have any stomach, I didn't have nothing. Like, you see pictures of me, I'm like a little twig. And in fourth grade, by fourth grade, I slowly started gaining weight. And in fifth grade, I was, like, quite a bit of weight. And I think that's maybe what I did subconsciously. I also had malnourishment, and so I would eat more because I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, go hungry like I did when I was little. So it became, like, you, you know, know, you want to over and over and gorge. And part of me, as an alter would sneak food and would eat food and was scared that she wasn't going to get more food. So I think that part of me was making me gain weight. And so in fourth and fifth grade, you know, it lapses and all that. So I gained weight and then I was teased horrendously by everybody, including and including some of my family, which, you know, they were just young. Everybody yeah, did it back that then. Oh okay, yeah, everybody did stuff like that back then. I'm sure even your family teased you. Yeah, but I anyways. Them to punch them. But um, I kind of used that, and I used it to motivate myself and to get more in shape. And I did the opposite. And I started like I started doing things like telling myself I don't need dessert, and then I told myself. I don't need this or that. I would take away food. I wouldn't eat as much food. And I slowly started, like, well, actually, I kind of quickly started gaining, losing weight. And in sixth grade, I was, like, extremely skinny. Well, actually, it was in seventh grade that I really became skinny. But sixth grade, I started. My brother died. And then in seventh grade, I totally, like, Lost became it. obsessed with the, how little I could eat. And that's when I became anorexic. But yeah, that's my, my journey, you know, yo-yo type things. And I've gotten way up high and I've gotten way down low. So I kind of know both extremes. I think that's what happens when you've been in that situation. You know both sides. So you understand where they're coming from. But that's been a series we've been watching like every night we watch an episode. And it's just really interesting to learn about somebody else's life and what how they got there. You know, because you never know. Yeah. And it's just interesting. You know, I used to always watch, like, anorexic movies. Yeah, your family forced you to. (laughs) And now I watch watch these movies. movies. And both kind of taught me something. So I guess I can learn from both experiences, you know. The extremes, because that's what people are. But, yeah, I'm not going to keep boring you because I don't want you to be bored. But... Yeah, that's our way, people, and we're going to be really, we're going to be doing stuff the next week or so, and, and Mom, then I'll have my, you. then I'll have my pictures for you, and yeah, we're going to visit his mother, who is still in um, Holland, Yeah. so we'll be visiting her before we go to California. I'm like so excited about that trip, like... Yeah, yeah no we're going to try to check out Route 66. Yeah, we're going down Route 66, yeah. and we're going into Texas, and maybe Arizona, yep. Vegas well, type Route 66 area. will take you through New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, into California, through Illinois, and Chicago. And It's going to be such a long road trip, right? We're just going to make a whole thing of it. Over 2,000 miles. And maybe even stay at Little Alien. Yeah, and maybe we get lucky and the alien will sell us a starship. But anyways, that's our that's the next upcoming amount of time, people, and 
So it's gonna be have things happening, and I'll share my little pictures when I get them. But it'll probably be a month or so at least, like before I get even the negatives or some, and there'll be another time before I get the other amount. So to put on my social media, but I'm so excited, like so excited. Oh my god! And oh, by the way. I must look really young, even in real life, because, you like, got I got casino. carded at the casino, and she literally made me put my ID in this little slot thing, and I was like, what? I, you know, like, she didn't just take it, or she didn't just ask me for my birthday, and I was like, okay, and I put the thing in there, and it, like, read it, and it must have said that it was expired, because my birthday, it expired my, on my birthday in this year. I didn't realize that. I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, you, you, when are you going to get your car, your card updated? I was like, what do you mean? I realized, I was like, oh, it expired this month. <laughs> On April 17 of 2021. Yeah, I have to get it updated. I'll probably do that when I go to California. I'll get a California ID. I got to update mine again. And, and he'll Cali. get his license to update it over there. Oh, my God. Cali, baby. We're going to be Cali. hitting the Beverly Hills Boulevard, we're everybody. Not. Yeah, we we're are. Not. Yeah, we're going to go down we're, there. Yeah, we'll get stopped every five seconds. There were some nice places we went last time. We when didn't we go did down our... to Beverly Hills Boulevard, trust me. No, but we were in some nice areas anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it was, but it was still nice. Shoot. Some of those people got houses that got little miniature They got stores. really nice houses Jesus. over there. And we went down, like, one of their main strips and, like, took videos because we well, had yeah, his mom strip. had given us a video cam the, um, Hollywood strip. and we were like looking at the, everything uh, it was so cool. walk of fame went up by the man chinese theater and, did and the this time Warner we brothers. have to like go on those little Warner tour brothers. buses we did the Warner brothers tour that actually had the little double decker yeah like i want to do that pass where you yeah can you get can get on and off and anytime. stuff so they they i think go up to the hollywood sign yeah Yeah, I'll get I'll let everybody get back to their stuff, but that's stuff coming up. So and folks, come along with me on my little journey, and I'm throwing away my five year. All right, honey, buddies. get them out of here. They don't need to see that crap. What? But things are gonna happen, people. Peace.